Hi Pacers, it's that time of year again where we begin to forecast for next school year. And whether you're completing forecasting at home or at school during pace time, this is a helpful video to help you complete the forecasting process. We are changing the way we have forecasted in the past, so please listen carefully. In order to complete your online forecasting, you will need the following. First, you'll need your forecasting sheet for the grade you will be in next school year. Not this school year, but next school year. These are available in an email that was sent to you, in the counseling department, or during a specified pace time. You will also need the forecasting course list for the grade you will be in next year. You will need access to the online curriculum guide in case you have questions about any elective offerings. Remember, this year you will only forecast for your electives. Your core classes like math, language arts, science, social studies, and world language if you choose to take one will be pre-filled for you. Here are the steps you need to follow. First, complete the paper copy of your forecasting worksheet using the forecasting course list. Please be sure to use the sheet that is the grade level that you will be in next year. Reference the online curriculum guide if you have any questions about a course. Please be sure to choose alternate choices too, and if you're going to choose study hall, please make sure to write that in the notes column. Here, Stefan's student is going to be completing his forecasting worksheet using the forecasting course list. Stefan's student is going to choose Art 1, Team Sports, and Engineering and Design, which is a year-long class, so Stefan's student is going to put that in both Semester 1 and Semester 2. Now Stefan's student needs to select two more half-credit offerings as first choice electives for semester two. So Stefan's student is going to choose weight training and art two. Now Stefan's student needs to select alternates. He's going to select four alternates that he would not mind taking in the event that he does not earn one of his first choices. These are ranked in order of preference, so keep that in mind when selecting alternates. For alternate, Stefan's student is going to choose Acting 1, Aerobics, Graphic Design, and Constitutional Law. Once you have completed the paper copy, then log into your student view. Click Course Request in the navigation on the left. Press the Click Here to Change Course Requests button to begin adding courses. If you see a course request or locked in message, work with your school counselor to make any course request changes. All available courses are listed in the search courses grid. The top row of the grid allows you to set filters to see specific courses. Use the drop down in the department column or type part of a course name in the course title column to narrow your search. For example, Stefan student is looking for art one. This is a course request, so as he adds Art 1, he is going to add it as a request. Select one or more courses from the grid by pressing a button in the action column. Add requests puts the course into the selected course requests list above, which contains the list of courses that you most wish to take. You will add alternate courses by clicking the Add Alternate which puts the courses into the selected alternate course requests list above, which contains the list of courses that you would like to take if one of your selected course requests is not available. Alternate requests will be prioritized in the order in which you add them to your list. You must select at least four alternates. Once you have successfully loaded all of your courses and alternate choices onto Student View, you can log out of Student View and hand in your hard copy to either the teacher you are working with during pace time or to the basket in the main office. Your counselor will be in touch regarding next steps.